dizia o quê? Big Sky Brewing in Montana, kind of a novel thing. This is from Missoula, Montana. So uh, kind of a cool label here because uh, there's an antelope buck there. And so I've, uh, there's a few, uh, we actually share antelope with Montana. They come up here and uh, I was seeing them this summer and I uh, started to take a picture of the sky was turning really nice, dark, purplish blue and it was in front of a canola field so there's like this blue and yellow contrast because the canola was in blue and uh i get out to take this picture right and this huge like antelope buck comes out this thick eh? nice horns and shit um so there you go and uh they come back and forth uh, between montana and alberta they migrate and stuff so this is the Big Sky IPA India Pale Ales, uh, Big Sky Brewing Company, Missoula, Montana. <laughs> uh, right. I'm sorry. 6.2% alcohol by volume. I know they got the little sticker because this is a build your own six pack from Andrew Hilton. I've been uh, picking that up. Um, got a pretty cool uh, cow skull there. All right. And I, I got tinfoil horns. <laughs> I've been trying to find real horns, but it's uh, it's not easy. You think it would be around here, but I, <laughs> I'm uh, trying to find some. I like, got oh, I've had buffalo horns and stuff from back in the day. Like I find them, but they're rotten. You know, by the time, considering they're like over a hundred years old. <laughs> okay, so uh, here's a color. All right, heads just peeking out over the top of the rim of the glass here, looking looking pretty good. Actually, very uh, creamy, very small bubbles. So I had their wheat ale, and it was a little bit like uh, it was it was okay, it was drinkable and everything. And I gave it a, a like a half decent rate or whatever because it was like half decent. I hope this is better because I'm I've had a bad beer night tonight. So that's a marvelous head. Oh wow, it smells really good. Yeah, that citrus hop in here is really uh, a, a great aroma coming off here, and I'm, I can't wait to taste this shit. Uh, awesome looking head. It's just really packed down. It's just, I don't know, it's like lemon meringue. It's just tight as shit. Damn. Wow. Wow, 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 that's good. There's a there's something in the finish here that uh, the maltiness in the finish uh, is excellent. Uh, the way the malts and the hops are playing off each other and shit through the through this is uh, actually really good. So I was I was kind of uh, not expecting a whole lot. So great job on your IPA, guys. Uh, you might want to tweak your your wheat ale a little bit though. But this is actually really good. Damn. Yeah, th th this has a great body to it for an IPA, actually. I I'm really uh, pleasantly surprised because it's a little bit maltier than what you're usually getting, but it's actually working really well with the hops. It's like an IPA, typical craft IPA, but you're getting a nice, fresh citrus hops, perfectly hopped with a little bit uh, richer of a malt body. Uh, th this is actually one of the better IPAs I've had in a long time. Serious shit. Uh, still really drinkable. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, liking this flavor profile in this beer. Uh, the body is a little bit flat, but I'm okay with that. There's not a whole lot of carbonation in it, but it's very smooth, kind of a, kind of a sugary, syrupy smooth. 
but like not in a bad way. I'm not really getting any bad aftertaste, any bad flavor finish, uh, flavors in the finish, which has been kind of a theme lately. Actually, I had to pull my Mill Street Porter. Uh, what the hell was it? Was it a chocolate porter? I don't have the bottle here anymore. I'm going to have to go get another one and choke the fucker down. <laughs> um, to re-review. <laughs> How can a craft porter be that bad? You know what I mean? When I'm drinking it the whole time, I'm thinking, damn, I'd rather have an Olympia. And I'm like, damn, this is crap. Oh, well. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to go see if I can find another single of that one. All right, so... Uh, yeah, lacing up just fine, all the rest of it. We'll do a headshot here. Yeah. Hard for me to tell you're getting there. Just take a few different angles, let the the light dimming auto lighting thing do its thing. Well, well I'm happy now. I've finally had a good beer tonight. If anything, like the body's a bit flat now, and I can see like after too long a time, it might start to get a bit syrupy because of, of the way the, there's a little bit extra malt thickness to this. But I mean, uh, that's pretty minor compared to what I've had tonight <laughs> to deal with. So, all right, this is a good beer. I'm really enjoying this. I really like the label a lot. Antelope are awesome. I like to see them when they come up here. They're, they're kind of in short supply. I know guys who put in draws for them every year and they don't uh, they don't um, get them very often at all. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice uh, majestic creature to see. Apparently not that good eating though, uh, but the one I had was uh, when Buddy got one. Uh, it's pretty good. Cubed it up. I think it was uh, not in such a desert, uh, semi-arid desert-like area. It wasn't eating as much sage and stuff. It was pretty tasty. Mm. Well, I'm just I'm just sipping on this to give. I want to give it a fair rate and everything. Uh, it's a uh, you know, it's a little bit heavier in the malt. It's, it is still kind of a nice dry finish with the with the way out there and everything. Yeah, well, I'd say it's an eight and three quarters out of eleven. It's damn near nice. It's, it's pretty good. It's a very respectable IPA. I'm really happy with it. Um, if I was if I go down to Montana and I I see this in the bar especially on draft or something i'm definitely going to be picking this one up and if i did go down there i was going to bring some beer back because it's like pretty cheap i, I wouldn't be surprised if I i'd like to know what this price is because if it's uh if it's cheap I, I would go down and bring some of that back along with as much shit as they would allow me to take back <laughs> so uh beer zerker I give it a rate. It's an eight and three quarters. It's, it's pretty solid. Could be it could be a little more locked in carbonation, which is something I don't normally ever complain about because that's my number one pet peeve with most beers is a shitty aftertaste and um, too much carbonation. But uh, this one's this one's pretty solid, folks. It's definitely drinkable, and I'm happy about that. Berserker and I'm out. Yeah, yeah.